Hey everybody, this is Steve from Open Bomb, and welcome to the February 2021 release of Open Bomb. This is an exciting release in that there's a lot of improvement in the order, purchasing, and inventory uh, functionality in Open Bomb, and I'd like to take you through that now. Um, I'm signed in with a company account. I've got the demo data wireless router bill material open. If you don't have this uh, uh, in your demo data, you can go and add your demo add demo data here, and you can follow along. Um, I have a uh, I have a bill of material. I have a catalog. Catalog has some quantities set and pricing and other things uh, have already been set up in there. So this is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and take an order right now. So let's go ahead and create a new order. First thing that we're going to notice is you're gonna say, Hey, Steve, I already have an open order. Well, we can have any number of of orders open now. For a bill of material it used to be limited to just one so i've got a number of open orders so that's that's an improvement let's take a look at this order so this is my order for 75 pieces you can you can see that open bomb has calculated the quantity gaps and done all the usual done the math for me it tells me exactly what i need i've set up my vendors and i go ahead at this point and i say create my purchase orders so we do that let's open our purchase order um, panel and the first thing we will we will notice is there's a new look to the purchase order uh, dashboard first of all we're going to see that there's a status for POs this is really great for tracking you know I've sent this these POs to a supplier did I receive them or not so the first thing first thing I want to do I just generated these purchase orders is let's send some of these out let's open our our uh, PO for a1 stamping looks like we're getting one item from them the, uh, with the part number right here. Um, it's like there's uh, must be three of them on currently on hand. I've got a quantity gap of 72. Okay, so the next thing I would do is I would, would probably run this out to a run this out to a PDF file and go ahead and send this to my supplier. So you think about this, you're going to do this for each one of your each one of these things. Here's my redstone router PO to A1 stamping for that for that line item there. Okay, so that's you know, that, that's all good. I would probably go through uh, each one of my POs and place, and place those or, orders with the supplier, the vendor. So when they, so let's go back, let's go back to the dashboard now and take a look at those purchase orders. And we can start to see now that we get an, uh, we get an, we get a better view of where my P, uh, purchase orders are. So I've got a couple of them that I've, um, that I've uh, placed. And let's take a look, like I said, we place PO stamping and let's receive that PO right now. I get a little message. It says, hey, I'm going to take this quantity that, um, that we ordered. I'm going to bring it back in. I'm going to add it to the quantity on hand. It's exactly what I want to have happen. This is the next big improvement. We can receive a purchase order and automatically increment the quantity on hand. So let's go back to our, uh, let's go back to our catalog now and just confirm that that's happened. We just, we just received that PO. And if I can find that part easy enough, here it is. We see, yep, there we go. We now have 75 of them on hand. Terrific. So you can imagine that I could go through and do the rest of those for the remainder, remainder of these POs, you know, make, make a PDF, send it to my supplier, go through each one of these and receive those. And as I do each, as I receive each one of these POs, the quantity on hand for each one of those will be incremented. So finally, here's one for Steve's molding. I think there's quite a few parts here. Okay, look, we've got 72 of these, 75 of those, 297 of another one. When we receive that PO, all those quantity on quantities on hand are going to update. So finally, I kind of go through that. I manage my, I manage those POs. We see our quantity on quantities on hand have updated. I review each one of my POs when they're finally all received. I can return to that order that I have and I can say, hey, look, I'm going to release this order to production. And once I release that to production, my assembly quantities will be updated and, uh, and I can go ahead and get that, send that off to my, uh, um, to my manufacturing uh, team. So, so I, uh, oh, and before we forget, the order dashboard now also has 
uh, an update here. It has the number of units for this particular for that particular order. So I can see right from the dashboard the uh, every order that I've got the number of units. I can see in my purchase orders uh, what the status is from each one of these. When I receive a purchase order, the quantity on hand in my inventory automatically updates. So. Um, I hope I hope you enjoy that. We do look forward to hearing from you at support at openbomb.com. Bye-bye.